crazy. I have two dots. Check this out. Yep. There's like one dot that's stuck. Yep, and that dot that's stuck is the reflection dot that is not the correct dot. Good luck to me. Go for it, Carl. I felt good on my draw. My, the dot thing was super weird that there was that second dot from the reflection and then obviously I had some sort of failure to extract malfunction thing going on. And then this sucks royally. So my first run at 50 yards, so a 19 in 890. We're two off the whole thing. Target is telling me that I suck. I don't, like I would, I mean, I was probably looking at the dot. Um, I don't remember looking at the dot, so like the whole, I feel a little bit like I was a little scatterbrained and it's not super helpful because I was not tracking what I was doing. Grip and vision, grip and vision. What did your target tell you there, Carl? Uh, master grip. Master grip? Or this grip, strong hand. What about it? Over gripping. It, it just whispered master grip into your ear and you just felt good about it? Or did it tell you something about the target the or me? The target. What uh, target. Because I know that I, I threw two below the target. Okay. First two. All right, go for it. My vision that time, uh, I was good. Like I felt like I saw where my dot was. That's kind of what I was expecting. We got a 28. I, mean, I didn't have that malfunction, 601. Well, I think that was like the jitters of shooting again, which is kind of funny. So four sets of doubles at five yards, and I have five of 32 are just outside the A zone and my splits varied from 0.17 to 0.22. Most of them were 1.8 to 2.0. Mostly all up raised them. Two down here, and then the rest that were up here. So this is probably watching the dot too much. I like that I am concentrating on this upper A zone. The text Bill and I were having was him thinking there's more things than vision and grip and doubles and other things. And he's probably right. You'd have things that are like connected to that, right? So you'd have your grip that you're working through and then you'd have your structure behind the gun. But that doesn't matter if your grip isn't good. And the same thing, grip versus trigger, like trigger movement. Um, but ultimately those things come back to grip because it's the connection point to trigger control and to structure behind the gun. So I'm just looking at my target. So again, I am 2 0 2 and I'm over a second on the pause. And I have some upper left shoulder stuff going on, right? So I should probably this time think, see the I think that was better um, for sure like I wasn't chasing the dot but one of the shots I for sure saw like the one there's one out there above the clip which was the one I shot and I just pulled the trigger at the wrong time I was watching that dot and I knew I was pulling the trigger up here and then on one of the draws fumbled my grip so the first shot but I adjusted I felt like my speed was good I did not have I only had one trigger freeze and it really like it was very wasn't very pronounced. And that has been a thing I've been struggling with is like my trigger freeze a bit. Uh, on doubles? Trigger on doubles, yep. Of just like having weird hiccup stuff. Part of that is like, was like, yeah, I was just struggling with it. I don't know. I feel good about my 
combination of accuracy and splits at 10 yards. On your draw. On your draw. Trigger freeze. Trigger freeze is a symptom. What is the root cause of trigger freeze? That is a great question. I'm actually not sure. Trying too hard. Yes, but is there a mechanical connection to that too? I guess that's the, like I 100% agree with that. Um, but I feel like there ought to be some more objective mechanical thing that that is connected to. Because you want it so bad. I mean, it, you're gonna go down a whole path of mental stuff. And I guess what I'm, and maybe I'm wrong for thinking this, but I feel like there's a mechanical component to that too. Like if there's a different why, the first why, there's a different branch. What do you think, Kyle? I think the trigger freeze is a symptom of uh, way too much tension in your hand, hand specifically. Um, here, so I guess there, and the root cause is mentally being too concerned about where your bullets are going on the target rather than trusting yourself and your ability to shoot. Got it on there again. Throw it. You think he's accurate or something? Yeah, I like that target. I like that target a lot. So I was 15 yards. And I was 2-1 to two threes, pretty much. Sure, the internet will make fun of me because somebody can shoot a bill drill and blah, 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 whatever. 20 yards. Splits are 2-2 two, two to 2-4 two, range, so just 10th more than 15. The group definitely opened up, though. But still not... I mean, I guess I have 4 in the D. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the C. So it's opening up, still going pretty fast. Felt like I was looking at the dot more than I think I probably was, just because of all the glare and the sun and all the weird stuff going on. Lanny Basham's winning in mind. Yeah. Uh, are you guys keeping performance journals for this venture? Negative. Uh, no. Not in a, not in the manner in which I probably should, but I have been writing. I'm one of the reasons why I'm writing stuff down on the target is to take a picture of it and I'm like journaling it on the target just because I know right now I don't have the time to go and write a big long journal about what I thought that day. And I know I'd be better if I did, but this is my poor man's attempt at that. What is the uh, format of that journal? Um, I do. Objective, which for me today is diagnosing in the moment, not letting the target dictate what I'm doing. So like shooting doubles and I feel or perceive, uh, let's just say over gripping. I'm trying to shoot through that and diagnose it as I'm shooting. And then I'm just using the target as like confirmation. I heard Matt Franker or Stoger say that competition shooters train Arm and draw and have a bad grip, they're still fixing and shooting the grip, but not like taking too much time to like sit there and figure it out perfectly. Then I'm gonna go find a place to put a range with my friends. Heck yeah. And my <laughs> uh, Yes, oh. yes. The outcast. The black sheep. Literally <laughs> the, the black, black sheep. sheep. I am black, I wear a lot of black. No, I was thinking you were more of a sheep than the black bar. Ouch. I, I, okay. You can call me black all you want. Oh, but I'm a wolf mean, dog. I didn't mean like a, <laughs> like a sheep and wolf, wolf, like all that nonsense. Dog, sheep dog. I was thinking I'm of a just sheep dog. furry and cuddly. What went well today? Well, I beat Carl. Um, what else went well today? I 
I don't know, I felt good about it. Felt good about training, felt good about the results, felt really good about the consistency. I felt like I was more consistent today, actually, than I have been in the past. The whole vision thing is, I think, the hardest thing. And I'm just trying to figure out how to force yourself to subconsciously be target focused, which is so like the, it's like the opposite of iron sights, right? Um, because iron sights, people are constantly trying to be target focused in order to be accurate, particularly at distance, like trying to adjust that a little bit. And so like this is the opposite and it's bizarre that, like I guess you have this really bright red dot that your brain wants to follow and so you follow it. Um, and I feel like with the stuff we've been doing with grip, my grip has mostly been fixed. He just tripped. Uh, my grip has mostly been fixed and that is from forcing like understanding that you need to disassociate the two hands from the object and understand crushing it here and then correct grip and manipulation here and then like internalizing those things separate and then you can put them back together and it's actually not that hard. And so I've almost eliminated left and low hits because of that. And so the question is how do you, like trying to come up with a similar thing to force you to have correct vision. Like that is, that would be the gold mine. And not that like you don't figure it out and then you shoot perfectly. You still have to put all of the work in, but it's like a fast track to understanding it for people. I knew my mistakes before I even got up to the target. So I was, the goal was to diagnose in the moment, which I was doing majority of the time. Oh, well, grip was a little off today. The support hand. Yeah, I just bring it all together. I feel like I focus on that one thing that'll get better and then I have to come back around to it. So doing it all at the same time, making it uh, run in the background. I did not have but two times that I could recall, like some sort of weird trigger freeze over trying thing. Um, my hits were consistent and my splits were consistent. Like I don't, it wasn't like world champion amazingness of anything, but it was consistently good. And I would say overall in the last month as we've been doing this, the level of consistency has increased.